Hey guys, well I just wanted to talk to you guys really quickly just about how my year has been going so far. I know my last video I posted about my New Year's resolutions, uh, so I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. As you can see, uh, one of my New Year's resolutions has definitely fell off. I am not painting my nails. I have painted them twice to give, you know, to give myself a little bit of credit. It's only been a month and a half, um, so I can always get back into the swing of that. Uh, but right now my nails are not pa painted, so there's that. Uh, as far as eating healthier and like losing weight, I have lost about five pounds. Uh, Derek and I have been trying to eat very low carbs, no sugar at all. Kind of like, well, I mean, we're trying to do keto, but I don't think we're doing it right. We're not eating enough fats to really be burning fats. Um, but we have been doing that for two months. So that's been good. I've been feeling a lot better in terms of um, my digestive tract. Um, but what I did want to update you guys on just like this last month and a half of this year have been so rough for me. I feel like I've been going through a lot, not necessarily um, situationally, like nothing's actually happened, um, but more like in my mind. I don't know how to really explain it. And I don't want to sound like I'm complaining or I'm not grateful because we are so blessed. And I just try to remember like you are, I have to be grateful every morning when I wake up and just talk to God and be like, thank you uh, for all of the things that we have. We have so much. It's just recently I have been having like crazy anxiety at work. And I don't know if it's like related to PMS or if they're really just freaking stressing me out and I need to like, um, but yeah, like I've been dealing with that and I don't know if, like I said, I don't know really, I really don't know what to do. I don't know if I just need if it's me and I just need to take a freaking chill pill and relax and deep breathe and I don't know, do some yoga, I don't know. Um, or if I need to find a new job. So this last month and a half, like I've really just been kind of, I don't wanna say soul searching, sounds so deep, but um, just trying to figure out what I want and what I wanna do. So I have been looking at jobs um, just to see what's out there, what's in this area. Cause again, um, we're new to Texas, so I don't really know what's you know what texas is all about so i've just been doing my research which kind of helps with my anxiety just knowing that there's an out and i'm not stuck in this like box um that has been good so we'll see where kind of that journey takes me and i'll keep you guys up to date on that um the next thing that i have been going through kind of this last month and a half is just with my cycles like i have had the worst cycle um like menstrual cycle uh, this past month of like of ever of ever like since I can remember so th that two weeks so between like ovulation and you starting your period like your hormone hormones are like out of whack right and this month has been so crazy I mean I was having anxiety attacks at work um, the worst cramps ever my back was hurting I was very emotional just like all of these things and some some were normal some are not for me and then towards the end there i got chin acne and i do not break out like i get maybe one period up uh, one period <laughs> one pimple or zit or whatever you want to call it on my nose or on my forehead but like this was hardcore straight up chin acne so when that happened i was like oh shit like i'm pregnant like this is not normal for me this is crazy um and turns out it wasn't, but it was just like the craziest cycle ever. And then I started and my cramps have been no joke. Like they have to be like labor pains. Granted, I've never had a kid, don't know, but I feel like I'm dying. So I feel like that's gotta be close. Like I must be like in that window, like this pain tolerance has been for real. And what I think, or what I'm gonna attribute it to is fibroids so about a year and a half ago i was told that i had fibroids in my uterus um but i didn't really like that place that i went and they didn't explain it very well um so they were just like you have two then i had to go back and get an ultrasound to see if anything had changed um and the cysts on my ovary had gone down but then they were like you have three fibroids so at this point i haven't been back i don't know how many i have i don't know how big they are um, so I am going to try and get that checked here soon just because my cramps are so crazy. Like I can't even describe the pain. I can't move. I can't think I can't do anything, but just like sit still and have a heating pack on me because I, I just cannot handle it anymore. So 
just going through that in my body and uh, and then you, oh my god guys you can find anything you want on google and like youtube and it's crazy so of course knowing that i have fibroids and like going through all this pain and just being trapped in my bed not being able to move being like okay fibroids how to get rid of fibroids like fibroids and pregnancy and oh my god fibroids and pregnancy videos are like no joke like i thought you know okay the doctors told me like if you have fibroids you can still get pregnant like don't worry that's not a big deal um but if you try for like a year and you still don't don't get pregnant then come back in but like these women that have fibroids and then they get pregnant and then they have like these awful pregnancies like fibroids are fighting the baby for nutrients and they're having cramps and they're bleeding throughout their pregnancy and like <sighs> just seems so stressful just seems like a lot and I don't know that that's something I want to experience so um, I definitely want to get these checked because I know that I have some options I know they say you can take ibuprofen for the pain um, and then that can get you through you can get a myomectomy which is just basically like a c-section they go in there in your bikini line and they take them out um, and then depending on where they are you could still like get pregnant and have a baby you just would have to have a c-section thereafter um, or you can have a hysterectomy which my grandma told me she had a hysterectomy at 31 I was like that would have been good to know forever ago maybe I would have got started early um, but yeah so I guess it's because you have like a high amount of estrogen in your body um, and that what that's what like feeds them um, and to kind of combat that you can't really just get rid of them but you can shrink them um, by like eating less estrogen rich foods so like no soy or like your meat needs to be like more organic grass-fed which I'm not about that life but maybe I should be now um, and also like exercise because exercise lowers the estrogen in your body and increases the progesterone or yeah I think that's it um, so we'll see I've got a lot of work to do a little bit more research to do just to figure out what I'm gonna do with this situation because it is not fun guys like I wouldn't wish fibro pain on anybody it is not fun um, but outside of that and what's going on with the body um, my soul is good my spirits good I've got joy in my heart I'm blessed I'm grateful um, there's just so many things that we still want to do this year. I know Derek and I, um, I want us to kind of make a list and start praying like specifically for things. Um, because I know that makes all of the difference. Um, if we just stay in the word and like continue to pray and be thankful and tithe and all of the above. So that is our goal for this year. Um, and that's our, my update, I guess, for the both of us. We're doing well. It's just, I'm just going through some things, y'all, but everything is going to be all right in Jesus' name. Look forward to making some more videos for you guys. I think I've got a good spot, got some decent lighting, especially on weekends. I can just sit in front of this window and like chill and, re <laughs> chill and relax with you guys. So yeah, stay tuned for some more. Hopefully I will be back uh, with some more videos. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.